Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot this drag carefully system. Uh, and you see the traction control light stays on. If we look over here, traction light off, ACC light is on, and lane departure is on as well. It's because all these systems work together. Um, a lot of times you might have a bad uh, ABS wheel speed sensor. Sometimes though, the problem might be very simple, especially if you disconnected the battery. Uh, what all you might have to do is do a reset or calibration of a steering angle sensor. Uh, so basically, the way you do that, you turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. Hold there for a second. All the way to the left. Hold there for another second. Do this twice. And then after this, just drive for a couple of minutes. In most cases, if the issue is the steering angle sensor, um, that just needs a simple calibration, that will just reset it and those lights will go away. But sometimes the issue might be a bad wheel speed sensor. So if that's the case, you got four, one on each wheel. So you need, you can use the Ucanic scanner. You can read the codes from all the control units. And then at the bottom here, we have the report and it says, uh, it tells us what's going on. So these are a couple of errors um, that are preventing this vehicle from clearing those lights. So there's also a steering angle sensor on the scanner as well. So you can, um, under maintenance, you can carry that procedure if your issue is the steering angle sensor. And so if turning the steering wheel full left and right doesn't reset it, uh, here's what you need to do. Go to maintenance function on the Ucanic scanner, select steering angle sensor, and then we want to select Honda. Okay, and then do Smart Vin. Here we're dealing with the 2020 Honda Civic, but this procedure is going to be similar for other Honda vehicles as well. Okay. All right, go to the first option, ABS. Now click on all sensors. All right, uh, this is giving us a little warning. Do you want to continue? Yes. All right, so here you gotta uh, follow this procedure very carefully. So the first thing we're gonna do is just turn the steering wheel 90 degrees to the left. So that's 90 degrees to the left. Then the second step says turn the steering wheel 180 degrees to the right so that would be that and then it says go turn the steering wheel another 180 degrees to the left and then we'll says step four turn the steering wheel slowly 90 degrees to the right 90 degrees to the right so that brings it back on center and that's it all the four steps one two three four press enter and it says operation has been uh, carried successfully press enter Switch ignition off. The scanner still wants to do that. And saying turn the ignition back on. The ignition back on. And look, all those warning lights are reset. That was it. Just a simple reset of the steering angle sensor. So, first try full left, full right. If that does not fix it, you can use the Ucanic scanner to carry out the steering angle reset and that's all that's all in this case sometimes you might have just an ABS wheel speed sensor that's faulty but even those are very easy simple to replace it takes like 30 minutes at most and the part uh, it's usually 30 to 50 dollars uh, so that said you do end up with all those lights on the dash when a simple steering angle sensor needs reset or when you have a wheel ABS wheel speed sensor that's faulty but don't get pa don't panic because of all those lights now you will have all the systems disabled, you know, lane departure and traction control and all those because the, these sensor here, steering angle, ABS wheel speed sensor are really critical and all these systems depend on input from them. But once you know how to troubleshoot and how to reset it, then you can really, a lot of times it's a very simple, easy fix. Thank you for watching Ucanic where you can be the mechanic.